Hi friends, today is what is supposed to be the last day of school, it's June 3rd. Um, I'm going to read to you The Last Day Blues by Julie Danberg. Okay, it's a continuation of First Day Jitters. It's the same class, same teacher. I will tell you, I normally cry every single year when I read this one. Um, I'm gonna try really hard not to because I don't really wanna record myself crying. Um, but this year's ending a little different, so maybe I won't. Um, I miss you guys. This is not how I wanted to end the year. Um, but I had so much fun being your teacher, and I can't wait to see you next year. Hopefully when this is all over and we've got a little bit more normalcy back in our lives, right? All right. Last day blues. On the Monday morning before the Friday that was the last day of school, Miss Hartwell took attendance. She sighed as she called out the last name. I'm going to miss all of you, she said. The kids nodded in agreement. I'm going to miss my friends, said Shannon. I'm going to miss Daisy, said Dan. I'm going to miss chocolate milk and pizza for lunch, said Joe. Everyone felt a little blue thinking about the last day of school even Daisy. Who's Daisy? Yeah, she's the pet snake, right? That afternoon during recess, the students talked as they hung out on the jungle gym. Mrs. Hartwell said she's going to miss us, said Alexandra, swinging from a bar. We should get a present to cheer her up, said Eddie, hanging upside down by his knees. But what could they get her? I could give her the rest of my sandwich. It's my mom's bologna special, said Josh. Or a coffee cup. Or a new pen, the kind with feathers and beads. The students thought and thought, but couldn't come up with one single idea. They all, do, all agreed on. We'll think of something tomorrow, Eddie assured everyone as they lined up at the drinking fountain. On the Tuesday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell read the final page of their last read aloud book. I'm going to miss circle time, said Mrs. Hartwell. I'm going to miss science, said Emily. I'm going to miss seeing Miss Hartwell wear her safety goggles during science, said Jack giggling. And so before they got too sad, Miss Hartwell put on her safety goggles one last time. So silly. We definitely need to cheer Miss Hartwell up, said Andy during recess as he jumped out of a swing. Any ideas about a present, Eddie asked. Nope, they all answered back. On Wednesday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Miss Hartwell brought in her super duper sugar cookies with extra frosting. I'm going to miss snack time, but I can't wait for barbecues by the pool, said Jack. I'm going to miss recess, but I can't wait to play hide and seek outside after dinner, said Alexandra. I'll miss school, but I can't wait for summer vacation, said Josh. The class discussed their summer plans and drowned their last day blues with another round of milk and sugar cookies. I don't know whether to be happy or sad today, Andy said the minute they all arrived at the jungle gym. Miss Hartwell is sad, said Olivia. She probably doesn't want the year to end. While we're swimming, she'll be reading her old lesson plan, said Walker. And while we're playing, she'll be trying to remember the fun times we had this year, said Dan. And that's when the idea zip zapped and zinged through Eddie's brain. I know exactly what will cheer her up, Eddie said, jumping down from the jungle gym. The class agreed it was perfect. On Thursday, the Thursday before the Friday that was the last day of school, Eddie raised his hand right after Miss Hartwell started language arts. We need some privacy, please, he said. And so Miss Hartwell took down bulletin boards with her back to the class. She never even peeked. Well, just once. On the morning of the Friday, that was the Friday, that was the last day of school, the students dashed in the classroom. They snapped open the shades for the very last time. They did their chores for the very last time. 
they fed Daisy for the very last time. And soon as the bell rang, they couldn't wait for Miss Hartwell to see her present for the very first time. What do you think they got for her? What do you think they made? What they made. Says, the last day of school makes us so blue. We'll miss recess and pizza and reading too. We'll miss Daisy and cookies and friendships true. Snack time and science and learning new. We'll miss spelling bees for our test review and groundhogs that play peekaboo. The year's been great, a big wahoo. There are many things to miss, it's true, but mostly what we'll miss is you. Later on during recess, Eddie said, I think Miss Hartwell liked her present. I just hope it helps, Margaret said. Poor Miss Hartwell, they said. All said sadly as they pictured their final goodbye. Teachers must hate the last day of school. And then it was time. The bell rang. Goodbye, the students called as they rushed out the door. Goodbye, Miss Hartwell called after them. And then she returned to her empty classroom. It's just you and me, Daisy, she said. I'm sure going to miss them this summer. And I sure am going to miss you guys. But I can't wait for vacation. The end. All right. I made it through it. I didn't cry. I did get a little teary, probably because I'm reading it to a computer and not to you guys in person. In person, there would be no guarantees. I really am going to miss you guys, but I am so proud of everything you've done this year, so much so that we're going to get two read-alouds for one. So this book is fun, and it's all about yay you and moving up and moving on because you're moving up and moving on to second and third grade. Can you guys believe that? So yay you, moving up and moving on by Sandra Butinen. You did it, you're done, you made it, you're through. Oh, what a great moment. Now, what will you do? There are so many choices, the world is immense. Take a good look around and decide what makes sense. Some like to go fast, some like to go sl slow, some like to get going, however they go. Some strive to be peaceful and joyful and wise. Some choose to just ponder the size of their thighs. So look north, look south, look ahead, look behind, stare into the mirror. Now what do you find? Should you live where it's cold? Should you live where it's hot? Do you want to be terribly busy or not? Do you need lots of friends or only a few? Would you like to have friends with a new point of view? Is your mind moved by science or does art move your soul? Do you listen to rivers or to great rock and roll? Do you long for adventure or you do you love to read maps? Would you rather stay home with your chocolate, perhaps? You already have wit, you already have style, you have every kind of eyes and you have very kind eyes and a dazzling smile. But now, but now, but now, but now. Hey, what's the hurry anyhow? There are places to get to and projects to do, 
people to talk with, and lunches to chew. But stopping a while is okay too. And whatever you do, now or later, big or small, loud or quiet, whatever you do, don't worry, just try it, whatever you do, whether near or so far, I know you'll be great. You already are. I hope you guys have a great summer. I am so proud of you all. I miss you all terribly, and I cannot wait to see you when schools open back up.